Hi, it's Shifty, and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top five, yes, five. Originally it was gonna be three, but top five favorite reshades. Now my voice has been trying to go away and come back. So if my tone changes, please keep that in mind. But yeah, typically I will always have my reshade, G-shade, whatever you wanna call it, in the video description of the specific video as to which one I'm using at the moment. But I do know that you guys just want a general list of my top five favorites, because maybe you watched one video and it looks different from the other one and you just want all of them. So if that's the case, this is the video for you. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So the first reshade I am showing you guys is the GM Lithium reshade by Gunther Munch. This is probably my go-to. If I want something that's not too bright at night, not too dark at nighttime and not too bright during the day, this is the one that I like to use. I'd really just like the true tone and the colors that this has because it is a slight adjustment just from the normal one. So this is with the reshade and this is without the reshade. As you all can see, it's just a slight tone adjustment. Have you guys ever used use like that sepia i think it's like sepia <laughs> i think it's what's called on your phone it's a filter it's got like that more browner golden color this is what that reshade does if you pay attention to the background here you can kind of see it it just goes more gold and yellow um but let me go ahead and space back so you guys can see the world as well so this is with the reshade and this is without i also like to use lighting mods which i'm going to do a video on very very soon probably next week so please be on the lookout for that where i'll be sharing all my lighting mods and what i like to use for my game and just basic like general aesthetic things um but if you do want to know which lighting mod i use i will leave that down in the description so you guys can go download that as well before we move on to the next G shade, I also want you guys to pay attention to the weather, the time, and the season, and the world we're in. I feel like that has a huge adjustment to how your reshading your G shade will look. Like we are currently at 7 p.m., so the sun's about to set, the lighting's a little softer at this time, and like I said, we're in Copperdale, which I feel like is a more darker world. If you took this reshade and you put it in like Oasis Springs, I feel like it would look much brighter. So just always keep that in mind, but I do like this g-shade because i feel like it looks good at any point also guys please forgive i think my neighbor across the street just started cutting his grass spontaneously um but the next reshade we are looking at is slightly different from the first one this is hot cocoa by coco dainty stems and it gives a more um i think lighter effect so if we look at my stem and look at the background i feel like it's a little bit more pastel this is with the reshade and this is without as you can see she's a darker toned stem and on the bridge here it's like a dark green and we have this dark brown or dark golden brown and then when you turn it on it goes a more pastel green and her shirt becomes lighter and her face becomes lighter also take note of the ui and how you guys perceive it and if you guys like it or not because that can change things and then again we're gonna just step back and take a look at the world this is with the reshade and this is without the reshade so I decided to switch up the pose for this one because I felt like it would get a little boring to see the same pose. Um, but the next reshade I'm about to show you guys, I absolutely love this reshade for the summertime. I love it for my more brighter themed LPs. Like if I'm playing something a little bit more relaxed and fun and not so moody, I will use this one. This used to be my go-to reshade back in the day. And it is the Missouri Sunset Vinyl Version 2, Version 2 reshade by i believe it's pronounced missouri like i said i don't know if i said it right or not forgive me if i didn't um but this is without and then this is with so i like this one because we get the brighter colors and it's a little bit more orangey i would say um but this again is my stem with and without it does make the game feel a little bit more brighter and if you guys are into something like this i definitely recommend you download it it does change the color of like the green here as you can see without it's our normal green and with it's got like a kind of i don't even know like yellow green <laughs> um but let's take a step back and look at the world you can also pay attention to the mascot here and how it changes color but it is true to its name we are here in the sunset hour like i said it's 7 p.m so please take note of like the sunset which is over here and let me get it a better angle so the sun isn't giving that kind of hue look to it. I think probably right here would be good. And if we turn it off, 
and turn it on it gives that really nice golden effect that you would get in a sunset in real life so i'm assuming that a lot of you are starting to realize that my reshades g shades are all starting to look very very similar they do have different tones and me as the player i 100 percent see it and i hope that you guys can see it as well but this is a three pack reshade by midsummer moon and it's actually called the neapolitan so like the ice cream this is the neapolitan Neapolitan said it comes with vanilla chocolate and strawberry I really do like the chocolate and the strawberry one but this one the vanilla one oh my gosh I love this one so this is with the reshade and this is without the reshade as you can see it gives a more pinker tone I do like to use this especially if I'm going for like more fairy style um, again we're going to step back and take a look at the world it still has its nice shadows and everything so let's go ahead and take it on and then take it off as you all can see, this reshade does give you way more shadows. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. I'm even going to come over here and compare it to maybe this Sim who's standing over here playing guitar. We're going to have him with the reshade and without. I really do like this one. It just makes it feel a little bit more brighter while still having the shadows. It's one of my favorite ones and I definitely recommend you guys download this set because you get three other, I mean two other options with it. The last three shades that I am showing you guys is my number one, my number one favorite reshade. And I do have to give a disclaimer about this one. When it is nighttime, I will show you guys, but it gets very dark with this reshade. So if you want to use this reshade and you want something similar, I would recommend going between this reshade and also maybe the GM Lithium reshade and possibly the vanilla one just to kind of keep that same theme um, because that's what I do typically is I'll go between those two when I use this one but this is the Ophelia reshade by Talented Trait this is the reshade I use primarily all the time if I'm not using the GM Lithium one um, it looks like this and it is gorgeous gorgeous i get all the sharpness that i need and i also get the shadows that i really do enjoy so i'm gonna take it off and on again for you guys to see now if this is not your cup of tea i completely understand because some people don't like the harsh shadows and everything um but i'm gonna step back a little bit more because i think it was giving like I think it was giving a more harder shadow on my sim's face just because of the angle because you guys know that that happens sometimes um but again without and with i absolutely love this one i am using it all the time i am going to skip ahead to probably a darker setting so i can show you guys but this is the world and let's do it with and without so that's without and then this is with it is a slight adjustment from the natural game and like i said it's one of my favorites i'll show you guys in um different settings of time again just because it's my favorite one and i recommend you guys download it because it's so pretty and this creator has like a few other options as well and i also like those so please check them out so i've gone ahead and i've skipped to nighttime and again we still have the reshade on as you all can see it is a little bit darker i'll show you guys between the lithium one and this one so this is with the lithium it's just a little bit brighter at night and this is with the vanilla one you guys can see the pink tones a little bit better and again a little bit more brighter than my top favorite reshade ophelia and then this is back with ophelia it gives a more blue night sky um, again this is just one of my top favorite ones but i would say that the gm lithium and the vanilla one kind of get the same effect it's just a little bit brighter but if you do go with the vanilla it's going to be a more pinker hue versus the lithium which is a more true to color um but yeah this is what it looks like at night and i am also going to go ahead and skip forward to let's say i'm gonna say like 10 o'clock because that's my favorite time in the sims 4 it's still bright outside and it gives that really a nice color so yeah this is what the ophelia looks like at 10 a.m and it's absolutely 100 percent hands down my favorite favorite reshade g shade i have ever used but guys i hope that this video 
video was helpful for you in any way. Maybe it helped you find some new reshades and some new creators that you didn't know of. And if it did, please leave a like and comment down below and let me know which one was your favorite in this lineup. I will be doing a more different reshade version in the future, like the reshades that I have within my game, because I do like to go between different themes, but these are just my top five favorites. So please just keep that in mind. I do have other styles that I like to play. Oh my gosh, the welcome wagon. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. But I do have other reshades in my game that give a more different feel, but I know that I've just been getting asked a lot my top favorites. So this is that. I also will have some tutorials down below for you guys. So I'm not here to judge you whether you use G shade or reshade. That is completely up to you. It is your decision. If you want the same effects that G shade gives, that you know you can't really normally get i will link miss lollipop sims video down below miss lollipop sims did a tutorial on how to still use the g-shade effects within reshade so it's a really great video i've watched it i've used it and i totally recommend that you guys check that out because it'll help you out tremendously that if you don't want to use g-shade just because of everything that was going on i completely understand um so i will have that video linked down below and yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed like i said if you did leave a like comment down below don't forget to subscribe to become a tugboat i love you guys and i will see you all next time bye everyone